Hello children. Today our name lesson is Symmetric Lesson. Lesson number 11, Symmetry. Uh, under this lesson, firstly we will recall bilateral symmetry. You have learnt about this last year but we will recall about this one also. What is this bilateral symmetry children? Can you remember? If we can fold a plane figure into two pieces with the help of a straight line to get two identical parts which are coinciding each other then that figure is called what a bilateral symmetric figure okay look at this figure this figure has been folded through this line okay to get after folding this through this line we can get two identical parts identical parts means equal parts okay equal parts and when we fold they coincide each other one part should lie on the other one completely okay without any overlaps so such type of figure is called a bilateral symmetric plane figure so for this straight line that we used for this figure is called the axis of symmetry. What do we call the axis of symmetry? See in these two figures also I have shown you the axis of symmetry. So to this figure only one axis of symmetry is there. Look at this figure. This figure is also folded through this line to get two identical parts equal parts which coincide each other this part can lie on the other one completely and we can see on either side of this on either side of this axis of symmetry the two parts are equal in shape and area their areas are equal their shape size all are equal in this example also you can see children only one axis of symmetry is there on either side of this axis of symmetry we can see two identical parts they are equal in size and area right there I have drawn a square a rectangle a parallelogram sometimes children there are figures there are plain figures which have more than one axis of symmetry okay Look at this example square. We can draw a vertical axis of symmetry, a horizontal one, and two slant lines even can be drawn. All these lines are axis of symmetry. So the square has four axis of symmetries. This is a rectangle, a vertical one from the middle. This is one. After unfolding, you can fold through this one also. Two axis of symmetries are there. But children, for an example, this is also a rectangle, no? This is also a rectangle. I can fold it like this from the middle. I can fold it. See, after folding, we can unfold it. See, this is called an axis of symmetry. This is a symmetric figure, bilateral symmetric figure. So, after unfolding this, we can fold through this line also. See, you can see another axis of symmetry. But see children, I am folding from this point to this point. These two corner points I am folding and show you. What will happen? What will happen children? See, when I fold through those two points, I can see that they are not coinciding. Of course, when we fold, we can see a line in the middle. The two parts look same. The areas are same of course. But when we fold through this line, see, they are not coinciding. Accurately, you should fold, okay? They are not coinciding. This is not coinciding, okay? But this is coinciding, right? So, children, because of this reason, we are telling that this rectangle is a bilateral axis. Uh, this rectangle is a symmetric figure, but this line is not a correct axis of symmetry these two are correct but this is wrong these slant lines are wrong axis of symmetries remember that then for the rectangle there are two axis of symmetries and what is this this is a parallelogram so this parallelogram doesn't have any axis of symmetry this is not a bilateral symmetric figure zero axis of symmetries okay Okay, children, 
Now we will learn about rotational symmetry. Earlier we learnt about bilateral symmetry. Now we will learn about rotational symmetry. What is this rotational symmetry? Say children, when a figure is rotated about a fixed point, for an example, this is a plane figure. When this plane figure is rotated about a fixed point through a complete rotation, a complete rotation means 360 degrees. If this figure coincides with the original figure before completing, before completing its original place, then that has, that figure has rotational symmetry. That means children, here I have given you a figure and I have taken a small uh, lamina also, a square lamina also. There are also I have marked A, B, C, D. Now I am placing this on this figure. Earlier I have drawn after keeping this. Now this is the fixed point. Right. Now I am going to rotate this plane figure about this fixed point. A complete rotation 360 degrees. While I am doing so, if this plane figure coincides with that original position, with this original figure, then this figure has what? Rotational symmetry. We will see whether it coincides with the original figure. Here I have started rotating. See, I have started it. See, once it coincides, right? One time it coincided here. Now A has come to here. Again I am continuing. See? Right. You should do it correctly. Okay? See? Two times it coincided. We will continue. Uh, at this point also three times it coincided. This is the third time. Right. Uh, this is the fourth time. It completed a rotation 360 degrees it completed rotation so before coming to its original position it coincided with the original position three times actually how many times in total how many times it coincided with the original position when it completes 360 360 degrees four times okay so this number of times this figure coincided with the original figure is called what order of rotational symmetry. So the order of rotational symmetry is 4 here. Right? Then I have marked here a point around about this point only I rotated this figure. So this point is called the center of rotation. Another figure I have given you. So I cut a triangular lamina and named it as a b c in the same like in the same figure and i marked a fixed point also this is the original figure so i'm placing it on the original figure now at this point at this fixed point i'm going to start the rotation here i started 360 degrees should be completed right this is an equilateral triangle by measuring nine rivet okay so, one time it, only one time it coincided, two times, three times A came to its original position. So, what is the order of rotational symmetry? Three. What is this order as I told you? The number of times the figure coincides the original figure while completing the full rotation. Next, a rectangle. See, I haven't marked a fixed point. Usually from the middle only we should take it. I'm keeping it on the original figure and I'm starting rotation. Now, is it coinciding? No, not like the square. Uh, only once it coincided, right? One, not yet. Okay, two came to the original position. So the rectangle has two rotational. Two, two is the order of rotational symmetry of the rectangle.
Now, children, under this lesson, you learnt about few new things. First one is rotation is symmetric. Okay, you know how to uh, identify the figures with rotation is symmetry. Next, center of rotation. That means at a fixed point, no, we rotated the figure um, um, until you coincide the original figure. So, that is called, that point is called the center of rotation. Third one is order of rotation is symmetric. Can you remember I wrote few numbers 4, 3, 2, likewise. Those numbers are called rotation of symmetry. The number of times the figure coincided with the original figure when it completes the full rotation. Okay. So, at this time you should remember that if this order of rotational symmetry is greater than 1 only, that figure has the rotational symmetry. If that order of rotational symmetry is 2, 3, 4, likewise, it, if it is coming only, that figure has rotational symmetry. Right? Remember that. For an example, take this. I am marking the center of rotational symmetry as this, like this, okay. Then just think that this marker point, marker pen is this image, okay. I am keeping it here. Now at this point, I am rotating while it is coinciding, still not. Now the head is down, in the original figure head is up, now the head is down. It is not coinciding. See, now I completed the full rotation only once right so what is the order order of rotation is one now does this figure have rotational symmetry no why is that because the order is one we should know that if the order of rotational symmetry is greater than one only that figure has rotational symmetry the order can be taken from any figure but rotational symmetry have, uh, all the figures doesn't have rotational symmetry. Remember that. Now, children, in this table, I have given you a few plain figures and the number of axes of symmetries that they have and the order of rotational symmetry they have. And by observing the order of rotational symmetry, we can check whether the figure has rotational symmetry or not. Okay, look. This is an equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal. All the angles are also equal. In that children, can you remember the activity that we did? Three. Anyhow, you know that three axes of symmetry are there. The order came as three. Can you remember? These two are same, right? And since this is greater than one, the rotational symmetry has, the figure has rotational symmetry. Next one, square. Four axes of symmetry are there. And order of rotational symmetry is 4. We can see that both are same. And because this is greater than 1, it has the square has figure has rotational symmetry. See the rectangle axis of symmetry is order. Yes, it has rotational symmetry. Rhombus. Rhombus has two axis of symmetries. Two axis of symmetries. And the order is 2. Okay. From down and from top we get those two are equal so because this is greater than one it has rotational symmetry now the special one is parallelogram there can be figures which has which doesn't have any axis of symmetries here the parallelogram doesn't have any axis of symmetry it's not a bilateral bilateral plane figure okay but it has it has two that means the order is two order of rotational symmetry of parallelogram is two so, it has the rotational symmetry, okay. We find whether the figure has rotational symmetry or not with the help of the order, not with the help of the number of axes. Just to recall, we are writing this. Then the regular pentagon, we know pentagon has five sides, equal five sides, equal five angles. So, it has five axes of symmetries, five is the order, yes, it has the rotational symmetry. Regular hexagon. Hexagon has regular means all the sides are equal, no? Six equal sides, six equal angles. So, number of axis of symmetry is six. Order is also six. It has the rotational symmetry. Likewise, we can take regular hexagon, regular heptagon, regular octagon. Likewise, we can consider. And ad additionally, I have given you another figure. This figure has one axis of symmetry. 
and the order is also 1. Not because of this, because this order is 1, it does not have any rotational symmetry. Okay, remember that. Most of the time, the number of axes of symmetries and order of rotational symmetry both become equal. Right? But not every time like this. 